Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Today is kind of a really special day. Liverpool's just won the Premier League for the first time in my lifetime, so that's kind of a huge deal. My United friends can get that. Oh, Liverpool's never won the Premier League. Crap. Out of here. Finally. <laughs> but also about 30 minutes before that, perfect timing, FedEx just delivered my dream amp, I think. I've never actually played through one, but I've always wanted one anyways. Regardless, it's an absolute monster. Let's take a closer look. Okay, this is physically the largest shipment I've ever gotten. <laughs> oh my god. He's a getter of basically just set an entire amp stack. Pringle, what is this? Can you not believe the kickassery? For those wondering, yeah, this is the uh, exact number of uh, high gain amps that a kitchen needs. <laughs> right, Pringle? That's right. Okay, so the Triamp is the one that I am super stoked about. Actually, I, I'm, I'm stoked about all of them, but the Triamp is the one that I've wanted for a long time. And I'll get more into why after I unbox it, uh, but H&K just make great amps in general. So I'll save the most anticipated one for last. Let's start with the Black Spirit first, because that's the more affordable one. We'll go in order of uh, small to massive like actually this box is <laughs> insanely large but yeah we'll go spirit grandmeister and then try out and i'm not exactly sure what's in this box maybe merch or something but we'll open that too but yeah first up the black spirit first box So this is the Hughes and Kettner Black Spirit. I think it's the only solid state amp that they make. I mean, this is the head version. There's also like a floor version. And if you're not aware, Hughes and Kettners do this. They light up. <laughs> no joke, this is actually a huge selling point for some people. <clears throat> like that may or may not have been a big reason why I started looking into the brand in the first place. But yeah, 200 watts, four channels, Bluetooth, uh, a ton of freaking effects. The spirit tone generator. So this is supposed to be like the brain, like the uh, the tube replacement engine for the amp. Now it is quite late right now, but I couldn't resist. I had to unbox this stuff, but I will be doing uh, like first impressions and uh, first playthroughs uh, tomorrow, which I'll include in this video. Yeah, and everything's MIDI controllable, DI out. Yeah, the red box was one of the original uh, cab sim di outs at least that i can remember being embedded into amps 200 watts or two uh i'm going with the one that makes my pp look bigger but yeah hughes and kettner stuff is usually pretty pricey so this is their most affordable one it's like a grand which isn't super cheap but i mean you've got all these midi controllable options and presets and i mean crucially have you seen a better looking solid state head if you're wondering why i'm not taking the uh the plastic film off yet it's because i want it to be as clean as possible before I shoot the B-roll. You know, because I'm known for having non-dusty uh, <laughs> B-roll in general. These knobs feel super nice. Let me just touch all of them and get all my fingerprints on them before I shoot all the B-roll. <laughs> Working harder, not smarter. I like how all of these light up too. Look at that. It just looks so clean. And I mean, this thing is also tiny. Here's a pack of strings for comparison. It's so cute. And it's also really light, so you can drag it to all those uh, gigs that we don't have right now. <laughs> but we will, live music will be back. Think positive and positive things will happen. Yeah, kind of stoked to shoot this out with the Boss Katana. You know, very different price points and feature sets, but these two are some of the most popular solid state heads on the market right now. So I'm kind of curious how they stack up. <laughs> and you can see my fingers wiggling. What's up? Yeah, very, very cool. All right, next box. Next up, the Grandmeister. Oh, 
yo. Alright, so this is the Grandmeister 40. I forgot, just like the Tube Meister Deluxe comes in this cute little carrying case, which is uh, adorable. Yeah, and you can see like all the tubes and stuff in this one. <laughs> I love the one with the blue covering. It's like the special tube. I think a lot of you might be familiar with this one from like Daryl Braun's channel. At least I think this is what he uses, right? Not like a, a Tube Meister Deluxe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. But yeah, the OGs of the channel might remember that I demoed a Tube Meister Deluxe like way back in the day. That inspired one of my favorite riffs that I've ever written for a demo and that kind of sold me on Hughes and Kettner. And so this Grand Meister from what I understand is like in the same vein as the Tube Meister but with like more built-in sh Okay, not sh but you know what I mean. Like you've got built-in effects, everything is MIDI controllable, really solid construction with like the metal top. I remember though, don't make my mistake. If you crank this thing, wait a second before touching the top because it gets f***ing hot. But yeah, like portable tube tone with all these effects. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this stacks up to the Black Spirit because the idea is kind of the same. Uh, just this has tubes and the Black Spirit is solid state. Uh, I think this is like 500 bucks more expensive and it's significantly heavier. It's also got a built-in power soak so you can use it without an internal speaker load. And you can light it up. Ah, oh, that just looks so good. Like, are there any amps on the planet that are as eye-catching as this? Maybe not. And of course, all the switches light up. Okay, this is gonna be interesting to figure out because you've got like your EQ controls down here, but it also looks like there's a secondary mode from, so maybe effects access, and then this does something else. I mean, yeah, I'll figure it out in the playthrough. On the back plate, we've got our MIDI control, effects loop, noise gate control, always useful, red box DI out, tube safety control. All right, this is like one of my favorite features. Basically, it just tells you what's going on with the tubes. So it tells you if any of the tubes need replacing, but more than that, it tells you which one, so there's no guesswork. Funnily enough, the only other amps I know that do this Besides Hughes and Kettner are the new Bugueras, like quote unquote new, uh, they're pretty old, but after the first run. I think it had something to do with uh, all their tubes that kept exploding. Man, those first amps had a lot of problems. And this is just telling me that everything's okay. So thank you, tube safety control. And then the power soak feature is on the back. Again, that's MIDI controllable, I believe. So you can use the full 40 watts, 20 watts, five watts, one watt. Or as you can see, I don't have a speaker cab attached, so I'm using the speaker off. And I believe it switches to that automatically if it doesn't see a speaker in there. But yeah, so basically with this, I don't need a speaker cab. I can just use the red box. And then that can go in the PA with speaker emulation on, or I can ditch that and use like a two notes wall of sound or another IR loader. Or I guess I could use it without any IRs and it would just sound <laughs> really poopy. But yeah, apparently this was voiced based on the Triamp. So it'll be interesting to see not only how this compares to something relative to its size like the Black Spirit, but also how it compares to the six channel monster that is the Triamp. And I'm just excited to get all these on camera because they just look so good. I mean, oh, look at it. And here are the two together. So you can see the Grandmeister is slightly larger. I don't know how big transformers are in usual lunchbox amps. So I don't know if it's just because I can see this one, but is this excessively big? Or is this normal? Either way, uh, this is just cool to look at. All right, you guys calm down, stop staring. It's time to move on. Next box. You know, I've just had a thought. This might not be merch. Seeing as all these amps are MIDI controlled, this might actually be a massive foot switch. Or it could even be the floor version of the Spirit. I'm not entirely sure. But I feel like it would have a cooler box if it was the floor version of the Spirit. So that's my new guess. It's a MIDI foot switch. But um, yeah, only one way to find out. Let's open it up. Okay. okay, so we've got the MIDI foot switch, which will control everything on the Black Spirit and the Grandmeister. And it's kind of funny because the foot switch is <laughs> bigger than the actual amps. But yeah, we've got like foot switches for the individual channels. Uh, then it looks like we can store presets and just go between them. Uh, tap tempo for delay. And then I was wondering, like the Grandmeister comes with the travel bag. The Black Spirit for a thousand bucks, no travel bag. What's going on there? Yeah, no worries. Here it is. Exactly the same, maybe a little less padding, uh, but yeah. Pretty cute. No room for the foot switch though. Last 
box. This box is legitimately massive. I just measured it. It's 34 inches long. So that's like just smaller than my dude. I'm kidding. Obviously, that was really immature. I'm sorry. This box is a lot smaller. Here's a guitar for scale. That's insane. Okay, time to... Uh, do what the title of this video probably is. Unbox my dream amp. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Right, Pringle? Yeah, now unboxing the uh, perfect bedroom practice amp. <laughs> Mother of God. This is insane. Ah, uh, look at all the knobs. Even this foot switch is nuts. Okay, so this is interesting. The foot switch for the Triamp and the Grandmeister, they've got the same enclosure, but they're slightly different. They are the same size, which is kind of hilarious because the Triamp is so much bigger than the other two. Uh, but they are slightly different and not just the model number. I love how this user guide is packaged up as like a top secret CIA dossier. It even comes with plexiglass cleaner. That is so extra. And like, check this out. The inside of the cover, it's velvet. Like what? Oh my God. Hughes and Kettner, what have you done? Yo, look how many <laughs> tubes there are. It's like one of the tubes got knocked in shipping though. Probably sort that out before I turn this thing on. All right, uh, legit question though. How do I uh, get to the tube? I think I just unscrew this thing. I swear, I'm a professional YouTuber. Okay, so I've unscrewed the top and <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh. <laughs> look at these things just shake it. <laughs> Good look at that body. A good look at that body. Alright, enough playing around. As you can clearly see, that's not exactly straight. Now everything is fixed. Everybody calm down. Genuinely, I, I don't think that this really gives a proper scale to how big this head is. Like, I haven't seen this much head since, uh, the Kim Kardashian leak. You know what? I've got an idea. So here's a Rockerverb 100 Mark III that Orange is letting me test out for a bit. They're kind of amazed that uh, I'd never tried one before and they were like, yeah, we need to fix that. But yeah, anyways, this is not a small head either. And it's like the nastiest amp that I've ever tried. But like, I legitimately can't decide whether it's really good nasty or really bad nasty. There's the Rockerverb. And then there's the Hughes and Kettner. It's almost making the rocker verb look uh, kind of adorable. You know, now that I've got them like both here together, the difference in aesthetics is so striking. You know, the top is very classic, very few knobs. The logo's got a boob in it. It's just fun. Meanwhile, down here, it's just serious fucking business. But of course, with all Hughes and Kettners, it looks better plugged in. So let's do that now. And this is <laughs> definitely doubling my power bill, but oh my God. So worth it. I mean, is that not one of the most glorious things you've ever seen? All right, so a few things. It looks scary at first, but I promise you it's not that bad. Uh, so over here, we've got like a built-in noise gate. Uh, you can toggle the effects loop on or off. Master presence and resonance. Obviously, this can all be MIDI controlled, so it's not a huge deal that uh, it's there's just one presence and one master resonance. Ah, the tubes are starting to glow. All right, so it looks kind of intimidating because it's got a million knobs, but if you look, they're all grouped. So the reason it's called a triamp is because there's amp one, amp two, and amp three. And they've all got individual preamps from what I understand. So amp one is the clean, amp two is the crunch, and amp three is like your balls to the wall, high gain, uh, where I live <laughs> basically my country of residence and I love how it's like color coordinated So, you know, you've got like your your blue for your clean and then your yellow for your crunch and then over here What do you guess red? It's got to be red and each amp has two channels and I do prefer that like individual EQ per channel even though it makes this look very very intimidating but like the super ist cool thing about this amp is this right here. As you can see, or or maybe not, 
this amp comes with four 6L6s and two EL34s in there, so uh, it's super expensive to retube. But you can also blend American and British sounds. So that brings us down here where you can turn them on or off on the fly. So now I'm just using the two 6L6s in the middle, but come back down here. Now I've got two EL34s in the mix and down here, now I've got the four 6L6s involved in whatever uh, earth shattering nonsense that I'm doing. And again, these can be MIDI controlled. So uh, I can have the two EL34s for my uh, 3B, and then I can set it so that I've got the four 6L6s on the 3A channel. How dope is that? And it'll remember, so check this out. So I'm saying two EL34s for the 3B, uh, and then I go to channel A, and it's like, now nah, we gotta have all of these in here, and then I'm like, wait a second, let's go back to 3B, and then boom, it remembers. MIDI learn, uh, I'm gonna have to learn what that means. Uh, what the f else do we have here? Oh, we've got a boost, I guess? I mean, I would I would hope so, that's what it says. Professional YouTube commentary. Now, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these are a little bit pricey because they are hand-wired in Germany. Came all the way from Germany, already got that Georgia pollen, so that's awesome. Dude, seriously, hot take, f pollen. Ah, uh, okay, so this turns the, the front panel darker or brighter. So uh, let's just uh, do one of those. Basically, this is just like the ultimate amp to end all amps. All right, up first, let's try the Black Spirit. be totally honest with you, um, I haven't read the user manual and I don't know how to engage the effects on the fly. That's gonna be something that I'll play around with a little bit later. For now though, um, obviously with this guitar, we have to see how it chugs. So I'm on the Ultra channel and I've just set everything to noon and uh, yeah, here's what it sounds like. Uh, it's a dirty boy. It's kind of like too much though. Uh, let me try the lead channel instead. So something I'm noticing about this amp is that the presence is really sensitive and really harsh. So I'm just upping it from three to two, uh, from three to five. I mean, yeah, I was kind of a little scared to try this one. Like, it's not as divisive as Orange, uh, but people definitely have strong opinions on it. Yeah, first impression, uh, I kind of actually really like the tone. I wish the effects were a little more intuitive, and I know that's like a, a user error complaint, but I like being able to just plug in and uh, know intuitively what to do. But yeah, good cleans, uh, far more than enough gain than what I would even use it for. I like where this is going so far, and now on to the Grandmeister. All right, Grandmeister Clean, here we go. Now already I like this better for cleans, if only because the reverb has a dedicated knob on this one that you can adjust without going into the effects access. <laughs> That's just really pleasant. <laughs> All right, ultra now. Now I have to.
to listen to the recordings back to back. Like, I don't know what it is. I definitely prefer this one, but I feel like the tonal character is similar. <laughs> Like, you can definitely tell they're from the same company. Yeah, man, these are just, like, super modern-sounding amps. Like, there's something about these, like, scooped tones that just makes me want to... You know when a tone makes you want to just do mindless chugs all day? Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of these amps. So that's the Grandmeister. It chugs too. Okay, okay, I'm done. But now it's the moment of truth. Time to plug in and see if this is the dream amp that I've been hyping myself up for years over. I'm so excited. Let's do this. And uh, this amp is just, it's way too big. <laughs> Whatever. Everything's set to noon. Um, here is the first chug. Holy shit. There is so much heat being generated from this thing. My power bill this month is gonna be like a thousand bucks. That's another five dollars. Another ten. Fifty bucks right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I fucking love this thing. I've been dreaming about uh, playing through one of these for years, and I was so worried that it wouldn't live up to the hype that I set for it. Um, yeah, I'm taking this amp, we're eloping in Kenya. I should try out, like, the other channels, I guess. I literally beelined it straight to 3B, the balls to the wall channels. So I think 3A is supposed to be, like, recto-ish? But also do the boost. Yeah, I mean, this is the channel that's probably more usable in like a, a band setting. I've literally just forgotten every riff that I know. All that I know how to do on this thing is just... Okay, so that's that's 3A. That's the that's the lower gain channel. I am stuttering so much. This is just fucking ridiculous. Um, so I guess this. Let's see what this is actually. Um, so this is the classic 70s British lead. Sure, why not? Totally forgot what song that is, but um, I'm pretty sure it's a classic rock song. Uh, I'm gonna get killed in the comments for that one. Okay, channel 2B now. So this is the 80s lead brown sound channel. So it does the high gain stuff that I like. It does the 70s, 80s Marshall stuff too. <laughs> Let's check out the cleans. I'm gonna start with channel 1B, which is chimey 60s British clean. I guess this is a kind of more voxy one because it's, it's breaking up quite fair amount if I like dig into it. A 
I'll be totally honest with you, I've never really cared for Voxy style cleans. Like I respect what other people can do with them in the right situations. Just personally, it's not really something that I'm that into. I'm much more Defender style cleans, which I'm pretty sure channel 1A is. It's saying that it's sparkling 50s Californian clean, which is the way of saying Fender without getting sued. Speechless. I hoped that it would be good, and um, <laughs> I, I really like it. You know what? Let me try something. Okay, that's heavy. What if I put resonance on max? Yeah, you can't do that. It's like Operation Rolling Thunder. Yeah, so this has been unboxing and testing a few of Hughes and Kettner's amps, including my dream amp. <laughs> I am not disappointed. I'll be totally honest with you, once the camera's off, I'm pretty much just going back to doing mindless chugs on this thing. I mean, my god. This is by far the most excessive piece of gear that I can possibly think of. And I say that while holding a seven string AliExpress Hello Kitty guitar with the Seymour Duncan Black winner never tune. I'm willing to bet a fair amount of money that nobody else in the world is running this particular rig. But yeah, stay tuned to the channel. You'll be seeing a lot more of this and uh, full demos coming soon. And if you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look, do me a favor and hit that like button. What do you think of Hughes and Kettner amps and what's your dream amp? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's the big red button down there and it massively helps me out. If you actually wanna know when I upload a new video, you can also tick the bell for notifications. You know what, they're actually getting better. They sometimes beat the Discord notifications. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description as always. Thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome and I'll see you for the next video.